golden pompano, a popular and affordable fish, isn't caught in the wild as much as you might think. Almost all of the golden pompano you find in markets is farmed. On these farms, four-year-old golden pompano are injected with hormones to induce breeding. Once the hormones take hold, the fish release the first batch of eggs within about three days. The roe is carefully collected and hatched in an incubator for two days before the fry are transported to an ocean nursery to grow for over a month. When the fish are about an inch long, they are released into a circular, deep-sea net about 100 meters wide and 10 meters deep. Each of these nets can hold tens of thousands of fish. The nets are anchored in place with two-ton iron blocks that allow them to withstand strong waves and even Category 12 typhoons. Every spring, the young fish are transferred to the ocean net. As warm water fish, they quickly swim to the bottom in the cooler temperatures. They prefer waters between 22 and 28 degrees Celsius and can't survive below 14 degrees. Southern China's coastal areas are their natural habitat. Workers feed the fish powdered fish food daily. The fish have been trained to react to the food so that when they smell it, they swarm to the surface. Along with feeding, the workers clean the nets regularly with high-pressure water. This removes algae and other blockages, increases oxygen flow, and improves water quality. Golden pompano require a high level of oxygen in the water they live in. Keeping the nets clean also helps prevent other types of fish from entering and taking the food meant for the golden pompano. This process ensures the fish grow quickly and maintain the fresh flavor their meat is known for. They grow to a weight of about a pound in just seven or eight months. Because golden pompano fish eat so much, keeping them for long periods would be too costly. Farmers typically pull the nets before winter begins. During harvest, heavy nets with iron weights attached are dragged through the water, pushing the golden pompano to one side. They are caught in a large net basket and hoisted into transport tanks filled with seawater. Then they make their final journey to the processing plant where the fish are cleaned, butterflied, gutted, and flash frozen for market. Some are cleaned and sold fresh, and others are partially dried and sold as fish jerky. In Guangdong, they prefer a delicacy called one-night dried golden pompano. For this, the fish are cleaned, butterflied, gutted, and salted for about an hour. Then, they are sun-dried for one to two days until the fish start to seep oil. They are then ready for packaging and shipping. Thanks for watching the whole video. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting things. Goodbye.